Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Creator Club here. We are on part 25 now and as you well know we are deep in a relegation battle and let me try and scroll down there so you can see the, the league table. We are now for the first time all season in the bottom four right at the business end of the season. It's it's awful to say we're in the bottom four we, and, and we can't really say we don't deserve it because we've been absolutely dreadful most of the season and we've we've been outside of it just by luck I think uh, to be honest we've won nine games in 41 and it's been been awful since the start of the season basically where we started pretty well uh, since you was last with us we've only played two games of course and that was Cambridge United away where we drew 0-0 there are two tough games to be fair uh, Cambridge and Barnet both going for um, playoffs for the playoffs to, for a chance to get into the football league so we drew away at Cambridge didn't expect anything there and was unfortunate to lose at Barnet as well. Look, a 90th minute penalty. If we would have held on there, well, we'd be we'd be only be two points adrift. Because uh, as you can see here, we are three points adrift of Sutton United, who just keep keep picking up points, which is really frustrating. We're five without a win now, and it's not looking good at all. So today here, we've got two big games. We've got Chorley, who are bottom of the league. They're in free fall just as much as we are. And Harrogate Town, who are 15th, safe pretty much safe but uh, well it might be mathematically safe now but in truth I haven't looked but they're 15th it's a winnable game it's two home games we need minimum very minimum three points but four points should be the target here uh, and then we got that crunch game against Sutton United which I think we'll have to show you it depending on how this goes I wasn't planning on showing you that one I wanted to jump straight to Stockport and Dagenham but I think depending on how it goes maybe we'll end up just showing you all five of these games um so it might just uh, prolong the episodes a little bit so but yeah anyway we'll, we'll just we'll play it by ear and see how it goes anyway team selection for today we keep having to chop and change one we're playing poor two fitness levels and we have uh, just one not notable one there is Osborne okay he's got 92% um, condition however he's been really poor for us since joining on loan he was fantastic for us when we've had him on loan previously although his form dipped last season um, but I thought he may, he may be a good signing for us and he, he hasn't really been to be honest so Ockram comes in at right midfield so the team is Billy Johnson in goal Cameron Green, Matsuzaka, Estrada, Williams Lowe Stray and Coyart in midfield Tomlinson, Marriott and Ockram with Marriott up top Marriott can't score goals for Toffee either at the moment um, worrying times for us we do need th this is the must win we have to beat Chorley today we really do if not yeah I don't think it's going to go well and let's tell the boys I wasn't meant to do that but anyway I was meant to talk to them individually but here we go we're going to go positive today we need to get three points against Chorley they're bottom of the league they're struggling we're also struggling but if you can't beat the bottom side at this late stage you deserve to go down and they're already 1-0 up look at that Adam Long has given them the lead and it's an absolute disastrous start for us six minutes in and we're 1-0 down I, oh, I just don't see a way out of it for us. I really don't. We just we just been so so poor uh, for about three quarters of this season. It's been absolutely dreadful. We're going to go attacking. We have to. We just have to go for it. I know it's early, but how we're one nil down already is absolutely beyond me. And I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what to say anymore. I feel like I'm repeating myself every single episode because every single episode we're getting worse and worse. Uh, it's still mathematical chance it stays like this we are four points adrift of Sutton United and we do have to play them of course so it's not all over if we do lose today however we can't be losing to this side we've just launched a hopeful ball forward and it was hopeful but Merritt's in behind Merritt's strike and it's wide and we, again we're just stuck with a, a striker that can't finish he started the season so well I, couldn't, I can't tell you the last time he scored I really can't off the top of my head uh, certainly not in the last three or four games anyway we're approaching half time pretty quickly here and it's been it's been poor Matsuzaka just signed a new contract Matsuzaka so whatever division we're in next year hopefully he will well he will be sticking around hopefully we'll have the same impact because he is a decent player I know he's not playing well today um, right I keep really shouting them at half time and it doesn't seem to work so I'm going to just assertively say to them we can move out of the relegation zone and let's tell them we have belief in them literally the I don't know the, the board still seem happy which is crazy but I suppose they want us to fight bravely against relegation and to go 
Oh, what was it? Come on. Have a have a dig, Koya. Good effort. Green. Good save from Rowley. And this is a better start to this second half for us here. Tomlinson with the corner now. Whips one in. We can't get to it and surely look to break away. Surely at this rate will be two points behind us if it stays like this. We're so close. We could even finish bottom somehow. And ah, oh, it's another opportunity. It's a good save by Johnson. They're getting in behind on these free kicks. It's really dangerous. And it's another corner here for Chorley. Eastley are losing 2-0 to Oldham at the moment, which is great news for us. Um, and cross is blocked there. Oh man, I'm just so just. It's really weird because in the other say in the other series, Sleeping Giant, I'm really upbeat. Like yeah, we're doing so well. We're, we're wherever we are. I'll nearly give you a spoiler there. I don't know. Oh, it's clear off the line. Yeah, I didn't want to drop a spoiler there of what's happening in that one. So yeah. It's going well, put it that way. Boreham Wood are also losing to York City. We need to score. Come on, boys. Come on. We're going to bring in... Oh, look at Ockren's having an absolute mare. Osborne's coming on. I'm really tempted to change the system and go 4-2-4 four, four or something because we need to really get three points out of this. And, in fact, I'm going to do it. Just absolutely go for it. Um, Koyar out wide. Koyar can play there. Marek can possibly come here. Who plays better than that? Let's keep it that way. Might bring him. What is Marrett's rating at the minute? 6-4, is it? It's 6-4, so we're going to bring Harry Smith on here. Someone a bit more familiar. We're just going to... Going to have to do something. We're losing anyway. And we need to score goals. Osborne's gone up top there with Marriott. Akinyeme might come on to replace Osborne. Uh, not Osborne. Sorry. Marriott very soon, because Marriott's only got a 6-5 rating and it's not good enough absolutely not good enough we're going to go very attacking now i'm going to tell the boys to show some passion at least very least get a point out of this currently we're now six points sutton are winning again we're now six points behind and um, we have pulled one back here is it going to be disallowed no it's not estrada has scored his first goal of the season a good ball in from koya much needed goal and we need another one in this final 10 minutes it will make things very interesting if we can turn this around the confidence will be better not higher it will be better and we'll still be within a shout we'll be still within like one winner Sutton United who are coming up in two games time who we come up against rather uh three minutes added on here come on boys oh no they've got an opportunity can we counter attack Estrada picks it up stray Smith pings one out wide to Cuyar as a poor header now he couldn't find anybody with that all the way back to the keeper here Come on, we need to put them under pressure, boys. Come on. Green's in behind here for Chorley. Which the ball in. There's a lovely strike and it's over. I thought it was another worldie against us. Because if you watch that last episode, well, or two episodes ago, certainly in the last couple, there has been some absolute thunderbolts scored against us. And it just always seems to happen. It's, just, it's like we're playing in the Champions League. Uh, well, the opposition are anyway, not us. But that, um, it's not a good result. But I'm very tempted just to tell them. A good, it was a good comeback. Let's just try and keep the morale high. Try and build it again because at the minute it's it's not going so well, the morale, obviously, because they're in such free fall. But here we go. Look at the table. Sutton did win again. So we are now five points behind Sutton United with four games left. It is, it's, not looking, it's not looking likely we're going to stay up, guys. But you've got to remain optimistic somehow. So here we go, guys. It's our other home game against Harrogate Town now at the Reese Arena and here is the squad we've picked it's almost back to full strength for what seems to be the first time in quite a long time because of fitness and whatever so it's Billy Johnson in goal green Matty Zaka Patterson Williams low Estrada and Lawrence in the midfield Coyard the fights Osborne and Marriott up front we have decided to stick with Osborne but we have dropped Tomlinson who's been just as equally as poor hopefully he can come on at some stage and make a bit of a difference for us because we need a player to come on and do that we don't have that at all in the squad and we're gonna tell the boys assertively let's go out there and pull off an upset we do need certainly need to win this game we said minimum minimum four points and we and the team we should have got the three points against we drew against and Harrogate have things underway here at the Reese Arena if we can pick up three points it'll be so interesting wouldn't it if Sutton can lose and we can win be absolutely fantastic unfortunately Dagenham Redbridge look like they're going to be safe and we've got them on the last game of the season although it could be positive for us because although they won't be oh they're through here Harrogate already oh man 
we can't defend for Toffee. I was going to say something stronger there. Oh, the two fullbacks playing him on side. They didn't step up like the centre backs did, Patterson and Matsuzaka. And it's a real poor start. Two minutes in, we're already 1 0 down. Patterson pings a ball upfield to Koyar. Koyar coming forward. Be nice to try and get into this game, back into this game really quickly. But Hardy's coming forward now after we've sloppily given the ball away and we're 2 0 down. We're 2 0 down. We are in absolute free fall and it just will not stop. Let's not watch that again. It's dreadful. It's absolutely dreadful. Show some passion, boys. Come on. Really winding me up now. It's a game. It's a game. I have to keep reminding myself of that. That it is only a game. We're looking anxious. We don't look like we want it at all, do we? Come on, boys. Get creative. Let's try and just... If we can get one back before half-time. Clutching at straws, at straws here. If we can get one back, maybe... We can get ourselves back into the game. Matsuzaka's header and it's over. He should have done much better with that. Uh, great chance. We've got to put these chances away if we want to get back into the game and ultimately in increase our chances of staying up because at the minute it stays like this. There's three games left and we will be six points behind. So we need to win all three. Osborne's coming through. Osborne strikes. A lovely goal from Sam Osborne. Exactly what we brought him in to do and he just hasn't done enough of it. He runs deep from in our... Well... Not deep from in our own half, but from in our own half. Sprints forward and he smashes one hard and low beyond the Harrogate Town keeper. More of the same, please, Sam Osborne. 23 minutes gone. It's 2-1. So, game on still. And let's just... Oh, don't go and concede the silly third already. Just done the hard work and got ourselves back into it. And that's exactly what we've just gone and done. Oh, it's a very similar goal to their second, isn't it? I think it was their second where Hardy was down on the right and yeah, Prenderville steps up and gets his head to it. So hard work undone. Unfortunately, it's not looking good. All I can say is either way, if we if we do stay up, if we were to go down, we'd have to rebuild because I'm I'm really not happy with the squad. Some players that we've brought in looked good on paper, have done absolutely nothing, possibly haven't suited the system. Maybe we need to look at the system and change it up. But it was successful for us for a couple of years, and I wanted a year of playing this way. But maybe I was tactically naive, perhaps. But we're not. It's not like we've played attacking. We've just played what's worked for us. And I am going to lay into him at half time. I expect to see a much better showing. This is near full strength team today. Nearly. This is pretty much our best team, and we're still not performing. We. I, I've said it over episodes. We haven't consist. We. We've not had games where everybody's played really well. There's always been about half the team that's been really low ratings, like 6.5 and below, and you're not going to win football games. And look, we're absolutely dropping like stone. Eastleigh are now above us. Remember I said about taking that job and trying to finish above 3 CFC? I thought I could do it. Well, I didn't have to go there for it to happen. We've just been so poor that they are above us. We were 16, I think about 16 points ahead of them, and they're above us. Fair play. Absolutely fair play. And what awful player can I bring off here? Who's playing terrible? Marriott is playing dreadful again. We are going to change up here. Akinyeme is going to come on for... Device is playing poorly. Although Estrada is playing equally as poorly. But we're going to do this. Mm. Osborne's doing well, obviously, because he's scored. Williams Lowe's doing quite well, so we don't want to do anything there. Reese Stray can come in for Estrada, I think. Can we move him up, do you think? Let's leave it like this. Let's see how we go with this. Let's go attacking. Tell the boys you can make the difference. Get one back in the next 10 minutes. It's game on again, but we're probably going through... Uh, throw away our hard work again. Here's Osborne now racing into the box. Good strike from Osborne. Oh, Grimshaw nearly fumbled it into his own net. And that would easily a win in 1-0. Not too good. Oh, that, that was just a late notification by the looks of it. Lawrence picks it up and it's end of highlights. 25 minutes to go. And it's really not looking good. Like, it, guys, uh, it looks like we're going to be finishing bottom of the league. So it's not going to be fighting bravely against relegation if that happens. I could ultimately lose my job. Because now, because I, I don't know what the leeway, uh, what the points difference from 
survival to relegation or how many points off of survival you were is fighting bravely against relegation it's not good and I shouldn't have paused that I don't know why that happened stray into Osborne come on pull one back boys Zach and Yeme just didn't get his head to it he has to leave I've said it for two seasons now he has to go at the end of the year but it's just replacing him maybe we'll go down and we'll just focus on just promoting the youth um, but we do need to come straight back up really otherwise the, the series becomes a bit uninteresting doesn't it if we've got a couple of seasons back down there again have we given away a penalty? oh we have of course we've given away a penalty Bakayoko stepping up it's going to be 4-1 Johnson won't save it of course he won't and absolutely game over now probably season over there's a strike from Bakayoko not good boys and girls not good we have to win all three games now. Sutton are losing, which is good. We beat Sutton in the next game. We're two points behind. So, but they're just letting Osborne has another shot wide. But yeah, it's just it's not going to happen, is it? We, if we can't win, if we can win nine all season, we're not going to win three in the last few games. And Marriott misses another opportunity. We've had chances today, not taking them. Harrogate have had less chances than us and scored four goals. We need to improve in all areas of the pitch whether we're in the National League South or the National League next year. Burrell hits one in. Stray heads it away. Marriott now picks it up very deep indeed. Koyar coming through. Koyar strikes. Saved. In fact, you know what? Next game we're going to go 4-4-2, four, four, I think. Uh, or the 4-2-4. Four, four. we just got to just got to go for it. There's no point playing, uh, trying to be tactically better anymore. we just got to absolutely go for it and just try and outscore the opponents. And that's what we're going to do. Lawrence's ball in. And it's cleared away. Patterson picks it up. Stray. Williams low. Out wide. It's going to be... That's got to be that. And it's full time. It's another very disappointing result. So out of the four points minimum we were trying to get, we have gone away with one point. And it wouldn't have been so bad if we'd beaten Chorley, but it's really bad. So 20th place. Sutton United is up next for us. And we'll come back with the next episode with that game because it's huge. We could be... We'll go down... Will we go down if we lose that? Mathematically, yeah, we will look at a goal difference swing. If Hartlepool uh, fell, um, if Hartlepool don't lose and we don't beat Sutton, we're relegated. It's an absolute huge game, but all games have been huge. Let's go to the schedule and show you what's remaining. But look at that run of form, and it's no surprise. Do you remember up here, we was a bit like, oh, maybe we're going to turn it around. Yeah, well, we haven't. <laughs> look at that. One win in that was away at York. So when was the last time we won at home, even? Chester back in January not good enough we're in April now so you have Sutton where's Stockport in the league they're 12 Sutton so again we've got teams that are beatable Stockport's technically the harder game there but Sutton will be right up for that because they know if they look at their they're, they're struggling and their odds on to beat us that's how poor we are we're seven to one from the bookies Anyway, let's not depress ourselves anymore. So, yep, yeah, come back for the Sutton United game. Whether we'll play Stockport in that game, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, if we're relegated, then is there any point showing you the last two games? Probably not. I don't want to embarrass myself even more and us finish bottom and, yeah, pro probably sacked anyway. So this could be the last three games of the Creator Club series because it's not going to get... If we get sacked, we're not going to go anywhere else, are we? But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that, if you've somehow enjoyed that. And um, let me know what you'd like, us, would like to see us do in the next few games. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already done so, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And we hope to see you again, see you again here on Reese FC. Thank you very much for watching.